Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and today we're going to unbox a phone that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. It's the Samsung Epix on the AT&T network. It's a very similar phone to the Palm Trio Pro, so a lot of people were waiting for this to come out to make the decision on which one to buy. So let's get started with the unboxing. Wi-Fi, GPS, email, camera. Let's see what else we have around the box. Uh, nothing terribly interesting. Some specifications. All right. Looks like we have a quick start guide. Some software. The unboxing is very similar to that of the Blackjack 2 if you have that device. I'll put the Epix to the side for now, see what else we get inside the box. It looks like we have an um, audio converter for the Samsung proprietary jack. This doesn't use mini USB or uh, micro USB, unfortunately. We've got here a sinking cable, a wall charger again using that proprietary jack and finally the massive 1800 milliamp hour battery this thing is huge and hopefully this means that the Epix has fantastic battery life well at least that's what my expectation is alright so let's take a look at the device You know, it's, it, it feels just like a Blackjack 2. In fact, here is the Blackjack 2. They have very similar keyboards. In fact, they're, they're probably identical. And the thickness is about the same. The Epix is a little bit thicker. And just all around, it feels like a Blackjack 2. But, of course, it has the touch screen and a larger screen at that. And it also has this optical mouse cursor here, kind of like the Samsung Omnia. It's the same, same kind of deal here. So let's take off this screen protector, if I can find that. Okay, here it is. It's a really slick device. I like the finish on it. It's kind of like a gray metallic finish. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's really nice. It's really unique. Um, it, it, is, uh, it does feel thick in, in the hand for some reason, even though it's not that thick. I don't know why that is. Um, we'll, have to, we'll have to look into that some more. But let's compare it to some other devices, right? So here we have the Palm Trio Pro, and again, I know a lot of people are comparing these two devices. It's actually a little, little bit thinner than the Palm Trio Pro. You really can't tell here, but it's one millimeter th uh, thinner. And it's also taller and wider. The screen size is exactly the same. It also has the same screen resolution. Of course, the, the Epix has a much more generous keyboard than does the Palm Trio Pro, and I think a lot of people will, will really appreciate that. Next to the old Motorola Q9H, which has a great keyboard, we see that the, the, the keyboard is still pretty big on the Epix, although it's not as large as it is, as it is on, the, on the Q9H. And just because I know a lot of people have this device or have seen it, here's the AT&T Tilt. Um, of course, the Epix is significantly thinner than the AT&T Tilt. So all in all, I think the Epix is going to be a good device. I like the flush touch screen. I'm excited to use this optical cursor to see if it works like it does on the Omnia because that was a big help in one-handed usability. We've got a lot of more content coming up. We're going to compare this head-to-head -head with the Palm Trio Pro. We're going to cover hardware. We're going to cover software and everything so that if you're considering buying this device, you'll have a pretty good idea of uh, whether it's for you by the end of our coverage. Now, if you want to follow us, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pocket Now Video, and we're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That way you can keep abreast of when we post new content about the Samsung Epix. So a lot more to come on this device.